Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So before we get started, make sure to hit that like button. Also subscribe to my channel. 10 Best Robin Williams Movie Performances So make sure to watch the full video. Robin Williams has been considered to be one of the greatest comedic performers with a legacy that immortalizes his most praiseworthy work. He originally found his fame through stand-up sets and the televised sitcom Mork and Mindy, which expedited his career in the world of entertainment. He turned to film after breaking into television, which brought about some of his most memorable and iconic roles. 10. Insomnia, 2002 This little-known film was directed by Christopher Nolan and pairs Robin Williams with Al Pacino in a murder mystery that takes place in Alaska. Williams plays a local crime writer who takes on the case of a teenage girl's murder, and all signs point to his character being the killer. Williams steps away from his comedic nature for this psychological thriller that presents a stark look at police ethics in the modern era. The element of suspense is channeled by leaving audiences guessing whether his character is the killer, and his unwavering nature is instrumental in keeping moviegoers engaged with the crime movie, inviting them to question if he was the one behind the murder. 9. One Edge of Our Photo, 2002 One Hour Photo is another early 2000s, deeply unsettling piece that allows Williams to demonstrate that as funny as you may be, he still has the ability to get under an audience's skin and make them squirm with great discomfort. This haunting movie stars Williams as a retail store photo technician who is tasked with developing photos. His job is to look at hundreds of family photos per day, and his fascination spirals into an obsession with them. He becomes dangerously intrigued by a young couple and their child, placing their happiness and social standing on a mental pedestal. 8. The Fiasier King, 1991 Robin Williams teams up with Jeff Bridges to bring a humanizing story to life. The tagline lauds the Fisher King as a modern-day tale about the search for love, sanity, ethereal merman, and the Holy Grail. While this specific movie is drowned out by other exemplary work in the comics portfolio, it's a dazzling movie that captures the absurdity of life and the shattered ego of a depressed shock radio VJ. Love, loss, personal downfall, and a strong cast all come together to prop the Fisher King's reputation up, and it's well-deserved. 7. Popeye, 1980 Williams' first movie serves as one of his strongest works and doubles as Robert Altman's stylized take on the iconic Popeye cartoon that can be most recognized for revitalizing the popularity of spinach in the everyday household. Altman may have been a questionable choice for a live-action adaptation of the children's cartoon, but skepticism was dismissed after the early 90s interpretation surprised moviegoers. Even while being buried beneath an emblematic makeup job, Williams brought Popeye's voice and mannerisms to life. 6. The Bird TAG, 1996 Robin Williams starred in this adapted French film that values character over plot. His chemistry with Nathan Lane as two gay artists that participate in the drag scene is undeniable. As per his reputation, Williams knows how to ground each scene by merely being in the frame. The role may have been written to be flamboyant and outgoing, brash perhaps, but the actor exhibits a great deal of control and restraint over how he presents himself. 5. MRS. Do you 1993. Mrs. Doubtfire is one of the most famous films commonly associated with Robin Williams, as he plays a divorced voice actor determined to see his children who are no longer in his custody. He dons the disguise of Mrs. Doubtfire and poses as a nanny, hired by his ex-wife. Williams improved so many scenes that there could have been many different ratings assigned to the film by the MPAA, which ranged from PG to NC-17. It was clarified by director Christopher Columbus that there was no official NC-17 cut of Mrs. Doubtfire, though he did acknowledge that Williams would produce 15 to 22 improvised takes. 4. Good While Hunting 1997. The film's just as beloved today as it was during its release. Robin Williams plays a therapist that's been asked to help a reclusive genius played by Matt Damon, and together the two divulge personal secrets and share debates 
over the meaning of life and death. William's strongest moments are found in scenes where he details the love he still has for his late wife, from their meeting to their grieving. This overwhelmingly caring performance unlocks new dimensions of William's abilities and uses loss to unlock an emotional epiphany. This well-crafted drama finds its draw not only through its psychological symmetries, but through William's own embodiment of the role that supports uplifting, poignant, and feel-good moments. 3. Aladdin, 1992 Robin Williams is the perfect choice for this high-energy, fast-talking, wish-granting genie that adds all the more spunk and flair to the Disney animated classic Aladdin. He faces constraints that might hold him back when it comes to live-action acting, and the wit is effortless through the power of his voice alone. The role of Ginny gave Williams free reign to do what he felt suited the character best and granted him the ability to recall his stand-up comedy roots. The performance earned him his third Golden Globe win, and rightfully so, as this role found itself right at home with the actor's imagination. 2. Good Morning Vietnam, 1987 Robin Williams excels as a motor mouthed on air announcer during the Vietnam War that harnessed the art of unconventional banter through radio broadcasts. Good Morning Vietnam was the medium that fully let him fall back into his ad-libbed humor while marrying it with the horrors of war. There was the perfect medley of a serious structure of a plot padded with wild humor that was seemingly created for Williams alone. 1. Dead Poet to Society 1989 Robin Williams' fast on, his feet imaginative thinking, and his dedication to emotional performances create many memorable on-screen moments for the actor that have built up to his esteemed reputation. But Dead Poet Society is remembered as his best work. He leads the film as an English teacher that cares more about his students than he does the politics of the school that he teaches at. This refreshing drama dips beneath the surface of what Williams usually promises per performance. There's still that witty, sincere, and lovable attitude that is often associated with his work, though it's not limited to that and drives the story forward. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. Also, subscribe to our channel before you go.